Hey guys, what's up from Roll Minnesota, your state of skate? Hey, Butch Lehman here, and today we're continuing our series of rolling reactions by taking a look at a skater that I consider perhaps the most versatile rollerblader in the history of the sport. His name is Sven Bokarst. So Sven has been killing it for ages. He's an accomplished vert skater, an award-winning park skater, and he kills it on the streets. In fact, in this video, with over half a million views on YouTube, Sven and his team of rollerblade skaters take around a box jump throughout different parts of the world. This is his city hopper profile, and it's really cool. Anyway, let's hop into this one and check out some of the moves from Sven. Even in his older age, he's still killing it and inspiring the rest of us to continue blading. Let's check it out. All right, so this piece is about 20 minutes long, and that clip is not fun to watch. You guys will see that one later when they're in Los Angeles. There are so many good, good things about this video. The video production quality is top notch. The concept of traveling all across the world with a team and with, you know, this obstacle that we typically wouldn't see in a street video, you know, dragging along this, this giant kicker, making entirely new options possible. It's really well edited, really well put together, and definitely an experience. For those of you newer age skaters that are maybe less familiar with Sven Bokarst, he was in the game Aggressive Inline. He was in the X Games. He's been doing this for so long at such a high level that it's it's really crazy to think about. Look at this, going up to the bank. So now that ramp, that launch ramp, is something you're going to see throughout this video. I mean, when you make it look that easy, I guess it's not that hard, but some really cool spot ideas here. Um, the originality behind this video piece, amazing. And look at these sites, like who wouldn't want to travel the world pursuing their passion and getting to skate while you're at it, meet new people, um, tag along with friends that are with you. I think that's pretty much every rollerblader's dream. But just look at that, that's terrifying to look down into. Like. I feel like the clip doesn't do this justice unless you're actually there staring that down yourself. Um, I know from personal experience, I like doing big ramps, uh, skating the mini mega at Woodward, and that's a mini mega. You don't have to like jump into it, it's just a roll in, but even that was terrifying. Super fun though, love it. A beach full of penguins, I was not expecting that in the video. Penguins. Yeah, do a trick for the penguins. They are in their tuxedos, they're ready to party. Backslide. One of my favorite tricks right there. I'm glad to see other people are juiced about it too. That was awesome. I can see that why that's on the cover of the thumbnail for the YouTube video. Is that front torque? That's a trick that doesn't get as much appreciation as it deserves. Front torques, man. Yeah. Alright, so we're out here skating the sculpture, and I like the concept of this. I think he's right though, the impact is going to be too much to actually like catch into, especially if it's a little bit wobbly. But you know what, sometimes you have to improvise and why not just go up it then? Man. Personally, I hate grinding up rails. It's just recipe for disaster for me. Shout out to my buddy Dave Walsh. He is the master of grinding up stuff. So that's one of the cool things about this video concept is it's like half skate video, half documentary. You kind of merge the two together and you get this unique piece of art. Uh, here we are at the zoo, and I can't believe they got permission to do this, but it's launching up, fishy stall on the, like, safari, va safari van. It's pretty cool. And this is one of my favorite parts, actually, is how excited these kids get to see Sven skating. You know, they're just crowding him around, giving him some love and support, and watch how excited they get when he lands his 540. Look at that. 
In my mind, this is everything that rollerblading is meant to be right here. It's about, you know, pushing yourself, doing tricks, certainly, but it's about having like that experience um, and bringing together other people, defying the laws of gravity, pushing our own limits, uh, achieving the impossible, but sharing in that experience with others, I think is something that's universal to the human experience. All right, we're going to Shanghai. By the way, I'm not sure who the documentary filmmaker was behind this doing all the shots and the time lapses and stuff, but I love seeing this kind of stuff in a skate video. Um, the Crow video recently came out. That's our hometown Minnesota video by Dan Knapmiller, and he put phenomenal effort into making that video. So much went into it, and it's really a work of art in its own regard. Getting some love from the locals. I like seeing that. Meanwhile, they're just nonchalantly rolling in the launch ramp for the next trick. I'm not really sure how they got like universal permission to go in and do these things or without getting booted or, you know, kicked out. Oh man, that could have been so much worse. Check this out though, he's switching into Alute Fish. It's a lot of speed for that and it's a pretty tall rail. Even taking the drop out of the side, like still that rail is way up there. They're talking like shoulder height. But yeah, I'm surprised that there's not more like police activity or authorities or people like catching them wheeling in this giant ramp and stopping them before they get set up and started, but I'm not complaining. That looked like a really whack landing there. Like, not not from Sven, but the ground. Like, it looked like there was a massive crack right in the spot that he landed. It's kind of hard to tell from that angle. Another time lapse. Really great cinematography. It's really cool. That ramp just like fits perfectly in the back of that van. All right, we're getting pulled, picking up the speed. This is sick. Just flat spinning into the side bank. Like that is such a Sven trick to do. Again, this is where he's putting together his uh, repertoire as a park skater, as a vert skater, as a street skater. That's a trick that I'm sure he's significantly more comfortable with than the vast majority of people out there. A lot of danger on this spot. You'll see why in this one. Like a fish would have been so sick on this, but that's exactly it. I'd be worried about leg getting caught in there and twisted off. Honestly though, this alley-oop sole I think is just as good, if not better than the fish would be. Tag them and bag them. That's kind of cool too. Every spot they go to, they have customized stickers that are specific to that country and they're tagging the spots, marking the victories. Mission accomplished. It's a lot of stickers. I'm going to drop this part out so it doesn't blow out my audio. All right, we're back after that. That got really loud. If you missed it, they had fireworks. We're getting on the planes. We're traveling across the world to our next location. Now we are in Los Angeles, United States. This was not a good experience. Well, I should qualify that. This is where injury takes its toll on Sven and he had to tag in some of the homies to you know, pick up where he left off. Uh, you'll see why here in a second. We alluded to it a little bit at the beginning of the video. It certainly didn't look good though. Such an iconic spot. I know uh, Martin Scoreback covered this spot in a video recently. He's doing a series on like legendary skate spots. And Sven putting it to use in a way that really nobody else has. And it's really unfortunate with this clip. Just awful. Jeez. Here in Minnesota, we call that a true spin royale. I know that terminology is controversial and doesn't really make sense, but 
Uh, either way, the 270 into the Royale just trips out his legs, and that looks so bad. And you never want to see this. This is the type of stuff that that I hate about skating. And I'm a bit of a hypocrite because I don't always wear my helmet either. I get it. Uh, but to all of you out there that are watching, I would strongly suggest that if you can get into the habit of wearing a helmet, that it is a good idea. Like, ultimately, our health, our safety is more important than just the day-to-day -day skating. Because if you can live to fight another day and enjoy what you love doing, rollerblading, um, you know, our safety, safety first. All right, so we got Sean checking in, tag teaming in, going through the tree, getting some additional clips while Sven is off his feet for a while. That's what friends are for, right? One man down, next man up, Tim Franken's gonna step in here too. By the way, I need to get one of these bungees. This looks like it'd be really practical for some skate situations. That was clean. I mean, that's that's how you do it. That's textbooks. Textbook topsole 540 out right there. I'm not sure how their truck got down there or if they're allowed down there. But this next clip makes no logical sense. All the way up to the fence. By the way, can we just comment for a second on like why this fence is there? It's like only a small partition of a fence. Like, look at that. What good is that fence serving? I don't get it. Maybe it's just blocking off the, the down slope, but it's not like there's any drainage issue there. So I don't know. I don't know why there's a fence there, but I'm glad they were able to use it. Oh, the car wash banks. It's another legendary spot here. I've seen this one in BMX videos and skateboarding videos before too, so it's not just a rollerblading spot. Sven's back, took a week so off, a hole in your head. still has the hole in his head. Back, but you still managed to pull it off? After a week of chilling, doing nothing, feeling pretty okay. And you're looking pretty good too. We got at least one clip done. And it was a massive clip at that. You know, I actually had a similar injury to Sven. Um, man, it must have been like six years ago. Small skate park, just doing a 180. Landed right where the kick plate meets the ground on a gap. Fell backwards, cracked the head on concrete. Didn't hurt too bad, but staples. Six staples later, did you, did good you as new. I started bothering you about that gap? Oh, but that's like the hate-love relation that we have, right? That's right. Not only in City Hopper Holland, City Hopper Europe. And here we are again, City Hopper World. I guess that trick would require some training. I gotta throw out the jokes. Terrible English jokes. That's what you get when you come to this channel. Little bit of skating, little bit of terrible humor, and uh, an amazing backside. The soul. 360 out. 360 out. Tag it. LA. Shit just got hopped. You just got hopped. Bang bang. I think that's an accurate description. Back to the airport. Sven and the crew are certainly doing their part to support the airline industry back in 2015 when this video was was produced. Buckle up. Not sure where we're traveling to next, but definitely looks like a change of geography, that's for sure. It's beautiful. We've got the beach. Props on the drone shots, too. These establishing shots. Rio de Janeiro. Oh, man, I forgot about this clip. This is so dangerous. Free topsail. There's not a lot of room for error on that trick. And in classic Sven style, we're gonna get the flat spin three with the Liu Kang, that overhead angle from the drone. Absolute perfection.
You know, I just want to throw this out there for you guys. Uh, the greatest compliment of my skating career that I've ever had, bar none, came from Mike French this summer while we were skating at Overpass Skate Park. Uh, he compared me to Sven. He said, you have lines like an ASA skater, you're a natural Sven Bokarst. And, you know, I know that that's not true, that there's really no comparison there, but to be compared with anybody and have it be Sven, I think is the most uh, uplifting, endearing compliment I could have ever had. So Mike, thank you for putting me into that category, making that comparison. Uh, it's totally false. Sven, whole different level than myself, but uh, if there's somebody I wanted to be compared to, it's Sven. He's not only doing great things for the sport, he's got the longevity, he's got the versatility, He's just an all-around great ambassador for the sport, and that's what I love about him, is it's not just the tricks, it's not just the competitions, but he's out there making a difference. And he is amazing at skating. That We need to make sure that that's stated as well. Hi, now. We're with Maracana, and we're going to have a stone build grinder. Maracana, Rio de Janeiro. All right, let's go ahead and carry that ramp over again. Huge topsail. Just got like the random guy selling food out of the cart, drinks out of the cart. Completely zoned in watching this, this trick unfold. Got the soccer guy down there. One of the things I want to know, and uh, maybe oh, maybe somebody Michael watching Michael this video has the answer, but is this the same exact ramp from every country that they're just transporting around the world, or did they build different ones in different countries just for the, you know, shipping aspect of it? And I'm a local guy up here. This mini ramp is so important because it is a good place to unite the all tribes of I love the it. sport of the favela, like the skateboard, like uh, BMX and Blade. Great and attitude. Like these bands are here. It's so important because these bands are a good icon about our culture. I hope the day is going to be a, a good day to skate and have fun. Yeah, I love that. I love everything about that. And that mini ramp looks really fun, but I think that's true. Everybody needs like these centralized locations that bring the community together. For a lot of us, that's the skate park. That's where we grew up skating. For some of us, it's these iconic street spots that people have sessioned together. That was huge. Massive flat spin 360. And what a scenic backdrop for this too. If you thought it was over though, wait for this one. Corkscrew 720. That's why he's a professional. He's been doing this forever. This is like warm up for him. That's that's what my reaction would be if I were there too. I'd be so excited by that. He's he's crazy. So beautiful. said it before I'm just gonna throw it out there again amazing cinematography in this again it's it's really an experience here it's not just about the tricks it's about life it's about the journey and we all find ourselves on the same journey in different aspects dude that was awesome going back to Amsterdam Is that a wrap? See, I have seen this before, but it's been a couple years, and uh, I feel like there's got to be something else in here. Like, there was at least a couple more tricks. Maybe he's going to skate Amsterdam still. Yeah, there we go. By the way, what is this structure? Oh, it's a basketball court. That's the strangest basketball court I've probably ever seen. Like, I guess it makes sense to have the fencing in so that the basketball doesn't, you know, leave the area. That was like more like a cage really than a fence. Going up. Top acid, and you know what? 
Take it back down. Nice. All right, where are we heading next? All right, we got the big ledge. Back farm. I mean, how tall is that ledge? I think, like, the ramp is taking away some of the the size of it. Like, it's misleading. Uh, basing it off there, but I'm 10 feet? Pretty big drop. And like, I guess the most dangerous thing is if you miss your footing and it like flips you, which a lot of these tricks to people might seem like pretty basic tricks, easy tricks, soul grind, top soul, uh, backside, probably not alley top horn, but you gotta consider like the danger of missing a foot or both feet on a trick like that. Wouldn't be good. Do the whole thing. This is a cool camera shot here too. Gives a sense of like uh, setting, scope, size. Oh, I forgot about these too. This is so sick. Man, there are so many good tricks in this. Fishy. But you know what, why just fishy it when you can drop down to the next rail? back royale and this true soul just gets me every time it, if you're like me true soul is one of the most dangerous tricks out there like that is a trick that is so scary to lock into if you miss a foot you're going for a ride and he just locked in that perfectly and it was pretty wild so shout out to Sven to the whole rollerblade team crew that put together this city hopper video this is a thing of beauty. It's art at its finest, it's rollerblading at its finest. It's exactly what it means to be a rollerblader, to have these experiences with other people, to inspire people with the tricks, but also to just experience life around us. All right, folks, well, that's gonna do it for this episode of Rolling Reactions. We were watching the City Hopper series uh, with Sven Bokarst and Team Rollerblade. Again, it's a really amazing video profile. I'm glad that uh, he's still out there doing what he loves, even in this age at 2015. And I know he's still skating out there today. So Sven, you're clearly one of the pillars of the rollerblading community. Done a lot of amazing things as an ambassador for the support. And I know that I can't thank you enough for everything that you've done. And I think that goes for all of the other bladers out there as well. Anyway, guys, this is gonna do it for this one. Remember to stay safe stay healthy, and get out there and do some rollerblading. I'm Butch Lehman of Roll Minnesota, and we'll see you guys next time. Till then, peace everybody.